Good day everyone. Um, well, I've been shopping today, and uh, I got the essentials, which is um, a Unimig brand um, auto dark helmet. Um, it's got the variable shade control on the back, the side I should say. Um, it was $99 down from 187 apparently, this is what they tell me. So, as you can see, it's um, it's reasonably clear when it's off and uh, it'll give you a short test pulse and it goes, and it's funny looking through the camera at it, but it's on the darkest setting but it just looks like it's not because the camera goes through different settings to the lightest shade. So yeah, you can set the sensitivity, um, which is it's on flat out at the moment if it's ever going to focus, that's the control on the left that's not in focus. The one on the right is the delay after you extinguish the arc. Um, it goes from point, point 0.1 to point 0.9 of a second. So yeah, it's all good stuff. Um, you know, I mean, I've got the helmet that, you know, anyone who watched the live stream would have seen. It's 30 years old. It's got a nice viewing area. It's a shade number 10. I find a shade number 10 is too light. I prefer a shade number 11. So that's where that comes in really good, really, really handy. Um, this is quite a good observer's helmet, or if you know you happen to run that over or something, you can still weld with this. It's just that it's not auto dark, and I like the feature. So I didn't buy a $60 helmet because it's your eyesight, and um, you know, you know, screw screw playing um, lottery with your eyes. You know, if you're going to get a helmet, I recommend get a brand name. Don't just get a no-name helmet you've never heard of. Um, I, I've worked with Unimig stuff before, um, you know, they're probably not the greatest, you know, equipment on planet Earth, but they have their top of the line range that's, you know, 300 bucks and they have their lower end range and there's not a huge difference in them, it's just, you know, the higher end ones are a bit thicker and whatnot, so, I mean, this is perfectly adequate, um, it's a trade quality unit, they tell me anyway, so... Um, it's got no fancy graphics or anything, but, you know, they're a wank factor anyway, really, so if, if you want to spend the extra money, you get the cooler graphics and the, and the sturdier helmet. They give you two spare um, plastic lenses for the front of this, so, you know, when that's scratched or whatever, you just pull it apart and put another lens in it. I think it's in the box over here. The two lenses come with, you know, green plastic stuff on them so they don't get scratched in the meantime. And it gives you an instruction manual that tells you recommended shades, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. 